and I know what it takes to like be like the top dog ranked in the country type. And so I'm just being more vocal. Uh, my teammates respect me. I respect all of my teammates. So when I say something, they stop and really listen. If they have questions, they come to me. And it's just uh, just spreading my knowledge with them because it's I know the game so well. What kind of advice have you given to new players? Um, just have fun. I mean, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people think that we're uh, down and out, and a lot of people deem us as the underdog. But, like, that's what we work hard in here every day. So when games do come, we do play the teams that are down us. We can show them that they was wrong for down us. So I'm um, all about telling my teammates, you know, just have fun. If you make mistakes, it's okay. You know, coaches are going to go crazy, you know, being as the situation we're in. But um, this team just works so hard. Speaking of being an underdog, uh, in your high school, you've always been a winner. You've never been an underdog. So uh, is that something – I know you're not looking forward to this season, but – that's new to you, so. Uh, yeah, definitely very new. Um, different role. I'm used to being the top dog now. I'm the underdog. But I like that role, too, you know. I've seen a lot of great things over the college basketball careers of people, underdogs winning. Uh, Steph Curry at Davidson hitting big shots. You know, you just have a bunch of teams that make runs at the right time. And as long as we keep working here, I feel like we can make, be one of those teams to make a deep run in the team. You guys are tabbed at third in the SEC. I mean, it's third, third in the in one of the toughest leagues. Do you really think that's like underdog status? I, you know, I don't. You know, I told the reporters yesterday in Nashville that I, I don't know how everybody else felt about it, but I was like, you know, relieved that you know the SEC and the people of our conference are not dubbing us down or not tabbing us as an underdog. You know, they're respecting us and putting us up there in the top five, and um, that's just a really good feeling because I, I don't, I feel, I kind of feel sorry for the people that sleep on us just because whenever we get to ripping and running up and down with more of us be a sight to see. It's Michaela. I'm going to ask you everything you've already been asked. <laughs> um, let's just talk a little bit about um, sort of this team. We keep hearing a recurring theme over and over and over again that you guys like each other. You're, you're a cohesive team. That you really are a, a good unit and all that's come together. Kind of unusual, really, when you consider that you brought six newcomers and six returners together that 12 people could really get along that well. But what, what is that about? Um, you know, it was like just from day one, anybody new, the six new people coached by then, the six returners just opened them with welcoming, welcoming arms. Um, we knew we needed players. We trusted in coach and who he was bringing in here to play with us. So um, once we revealed our message to them, what we wanted done, they got right with it and wanted to do the same thing. You know, we tell them we got to make a sprint in 24 seconds. Everybody's going to do whatever they can to make a sprint in 24 seconds. So it's just like this team, it's just like the six players that are new, it's like they're really not new. They might not have the experience to say like I do. You know, they might not be as skilled and talented to say like Taylor Murray, but they work hard. So eventually it's going to start clicking for them. Coach said he's not had to coach effort one time. He said it a lot last season. I remember in plenty of interviews he said he's had to coach effort. He hasn't had to do that this year. And why is that? I mean, is that something that's just sort of happened with you guys or you've talked about it? You know, every day before practice, Coach says the same thing. You know, you got he wants us to be the team that has the best effort in the country, gives the best effort in the country, and has the best attitude in the country. So it's like ingrained in us. We know all he wants in order for him not to, you know, go crazy in here one day. <laughs> he wants us to have a positive attitude and just give all the effort. That's the least we can do. You know, we're in here two, two and a half hours, and uh, we all have the same goal. We know we can't come in here and pilly-pally around and not give effort and then expect to go win games on the court. So you've not only had six new faces for teammates, but you've had three new faces coming in here for coaches, but they're pretty awesome. So how, how's that going for you guys? Uh, like you said, the coaching staff's awesome. Um, got a lot of coach, uh, Kyra Elsie recruited me. So it's good seeing her back here, um, being that she recruited me when I was a baby. Um, a lot of respect for Coach Bud. She's like, she brings the fire, the, the energy. She's like, she's in a defensive stance more than I think the players are in a defensive stance during practice. She's always amped and real animated. And then Coach Dunn, I, I'm, I'm still kind of starstruck when I'm dealing with her and we're talking one-on-one -on -one just because who she is and like what she's done for the basketball program on the women's side. And it's just all three of them mesh so well together. You never see them bickering, arguing. Um, they put in a lot of time upstairs together as a coaching staff, and then they all want to see us do really well down here. Yep. How do you manage the expectations that are put on you going into this year? Because a lot of people, not only in Kentucky but in the SEC, think a lot about you. Right. Um, they do think a lot about me, and I appreciate that. Uh, it just it just motivates me. You know, I never want to um, – I don't want to fail personally. I just want to do all I can to withhold all the standards and goals that everybody's got set for me. But just personally, you know, I got a lot that I don't want to prove to myself. You know, I want to prove that, you know, I can lead a team. You know, I want to prove that, you know, Kentucky's not down and out like everybody thinks. And I just want to prove that, you know, I love playing for Kentucky and you know, I hope to get drafted next year. So I got to really go out here and get after it. And um, 
it's just a really good feeling knowing that I have four coaches behind me and then 11 other players that support me in everything I do. And Big Blue Nation at this point. Oh, it's yeah. Like all over you. Oh, you that, yeah. They're all over you. They're all over <laughs> they you. Are, like, they you know, are. I love is, it. Yeah, this is you. I mean, like, you know, honestly, this is really one of those things where I think when when Big Blue Nation was a little bit down and out about what was happening with this program, but they see a player like you stick stick with it and stick it out and put your best foot forward means a lot to them. So, I mean, they're going to be behind you 100%. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, You know, my Big Blue Man's introduction, it was loud. I, I, knew, I was trying to dance, but it was just so loud. I wanted to see everybody, and I couldn't get my shirt off my face fast enough and it's just I mean like I said it's just a really good feeling to know that um the team has a lot of support I have a lot of support for sticking it out being a Kentucky kid you know I have people ask me are you leaving are you leaving I was like ah, I can't leave y'all you know I can't I, I can't leave the blue and white so I'm glad I stuck it out this year you've got a lot of Kentucky girls on this team I mean this is a very Kentucky team so oh speak. yeah I mean you could look out there one day and there might be five Kentucky girls on there <laughs> and uh you know I put I was like you know just joking around with them I was like you know dang that's comp tickets. Now I can't have all my buddies and my family here because we got five Kentucky girls. So there's not enough tickets to spread around. But um, it's all fun. Like I said, the people we brought in uh, played AAU ball with Jessica Harden, Lover, Macy Morris is the pride of the mountains. Um, Rachel Potter is probably the sweetest kid I've ever met in my life. And uh, Mackenzie can 20 minutes down the road. And I'm excited for her to be back on the court this year being as she had to set out. And then you got me. So I think uh, he's got really good five Kentucky girls. Okay, totally silly question. We're going to do a movie on the story of your life. Who should play you? Uh, like who? Who other than me should play me? Yeah, who would play Michaela Epps in the, in the life of Michaela Epps? Who would play Michaela? Epps? I say that if I had, I say Kevin Gordon Rogers could play me pretty well. Okay, like, and then know. just relate. Who would have to play Coach Mitchell? Because he'd have to be in there somewhere. Oh, me definitely. I, I play him. I play him. <laughs> I definitely play him. I know him. <laughs> Great. With all the changes um, you know, in, in personnel, 